today we're going to be looking at terrapins. Hang on. Tell me I got a little bad. They're there. wake and bake coffee oatmeal stout, I think? Yeah, coffee oatmeal imperial stout. Now in Athens, Georgia, where terrapins from, there is a, uh, a coffee uh, place next door called Jittery Joe's, and they team up and they use their coffee and they put it directly into the kettle. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's pop it open. Terrapin's not far from us, probably like a five hour drive north in Atlanta. No, it's not Atlanta in Athens. So. Now, this is my first time having the Wake and Bake. Oh. Andrew's had it a few times before. I'm a big fan. I really it's like it. It's got a beer. really beautiful head on it. Just so dark. Wow. Yeah, it's very, very black beer. Really small head, but it's dissipating pretty quickly. It's, what's the ABV on this? Yeah, there's quite a bit of alcohol in it. It is a. I believe it's like an 8% or something like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can see there's lots of brown around the edges. It's not totally black, but it's very dark. Mm -hmm. And the head is totally dissipated on mine. Oh, yeah. And what's the alcohol? 8.1%. Okay, it's a big boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can see it on the glass, just... Yeah, it looks kind of viscous and thick in the glass. Let's get a nose on this. Okay, intense coffee aroma right mm -hmm. away. Um, it's a little cold right now. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely. Uh, yeah, we just got this uh, out of the fridge yeah. of the store. I'm not getting what I'm used to getting out of this. Like if you let it, if you let it warm up, I feel we're gonna get a lot more coffee. But really, yeah, coffee seems a little subdued and it's sweet almost. It's a little sweet, but I get a lot of roast quality also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not even um, like brewed coffee. It's it smells like beans, yes. you know, like coffee beans that are fresh. There's almost a kind of like an earthy, mm -hmm. you know, like very like organic kind of taste of the coffee. If organic is a taste, I don't think it is. Maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's got a taste. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, there's a wonderful bitterness coming from the mm -hmm. coffee that follows this all the way through from the beginning to the end. It's got a wonderful mouthfeel. It's got a really, I mean, it's medium mouthfeel. Oh yeah, it's say. not super it's thick. Not it's thick. not like a heavy imperial stout. But it's definitely got a little bit of the alcohol warmth. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I mean, a huge, huge amount of malt, sweet, you know, caramel, mm -hmm. coffee, chocolate, you know, to support all that kind of fresh, bitter coffee taste. Surprisingly bitter, but uh, it's very, very you know slick over your mouth with the oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I'm not tasting really any oatmeal. I don't. I never you know, really. I, I find that when when the oatmeal's in the beer, it's more you get the flavor, or not really a flavor, but more of the feel of the beer. Yeah, changes. I, I can never pick out oatmeal in the beer. But we definitely have to let this warm up. This is something that should be 55, 60 degrees room temperature. So. Uh, mm. We'll get back to you. Okay, we're back with the Wake and Bake. A delicious beer. Alright, as it's warmed up, the, the aroma has just changed a lot. There's a lot more going on. I'm not sure. I wouldn't say it's changed, but it's definitely well, not yeah, more no, intense. You mm -hmm. can identify a lot more. Yeah, you're getting a lot more of that kind of vegetal coffee aroma. And maybe some super, super dark, bitter mm -hmm. chocolate. <sighs> Yeah, it reminds me of the like smell of like roasting coffee beans, mm -hmm. kind of that kind of feel. But yeah, the roast flavor is pretty heavy. It's pretty dark. I love I love that smell. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, let's get a. It's a big final chug for you. Yeah. Really tasty. A lot more of the alcohol coming through now. Mm -hmm. But. It's hidden very well. And oh, this, this is super one of those tasty. <laughs> that bitter goes right well with that alcohol flavor. And it's just that perfect mouth feel. Yeah, the oatmeal really helps. I mean, it really what it's what you want from a stout. Yeah, this is one of those beers, if you're not into mm -hmm. beers that are just like crazy, crazy coffee flavor up front, mm -hmm. you know, but you still want something, you know, 
really coffee heavy, like this is a beer to go to. It really has a unique perspective on what coffee and stout can uh, can be. I had a taste of the Cigar City uh, Cafe Con Leche oh, was, yeah. last that was, night. That uh, was really tasty too. But it almost doesn't taste like beer. You know this is beer 100% oh, yeah. of the time, but it's a... Uh, no, they're very Super different. Super coffee beers, forward. It, they're two different takes in the coffee, but yeah, this is very well done. Hats off to Terrapin. Yeah, Terrapin in Athens, Georgia, a great brewery. Not exactly local, but very close. So we like getting their beer, and we love it when they do a good job like this. I think this is an annual release. They say uh, this is a vintage 2012. It's not a you know mm -hmm. a vintage yet, but this is probably the last time they they bottled it. But yeah, great we'll, beer. We'll be getting it next year. Of course, or maybe this we'll. Year. Maybe we'll buy a couple more. We'll let them age. This is something that you can put in the cellar, and it'll be, it'll be neat seeing what happens to that That's after true. a year or two. At eight percent, you know it's good to age. Yeah. Well, until next time, you know, keep drinking fresh and drinking local. Cheers. I'm a soul.